Temple of Speed will host round number four of the 2020 Euro Formula Open Championship. Always a great place to come racing is Monza. Long straight, very quick circuit, very hard to break the toe. And out front, Yiffy Yi in the championship leads by over double the points of everyone else after yet another double victory last weekend. He's only been beaten once this season and the driver that did that, Lucas Dunner, is back this weekend. So expect some very close racing at the front of the field. Round number four got underway with Yiffy Yi on pole position once again and he would lead us down towards turn number one. Nicholas Gruton on the inside of the front row didn't get a good launch from seventh place. We were all waiting for Lucas Dunner to make places and he would do so immediately on board of him to the very right of screen. He would go from seventh to third in one fell swoop. Fantastic move from him. He would make uh, contact with Sebastian Esther in the process who would have to come into the pits. That was Rui Andrade going off at Lesmo 2 and then the fighting continued with Lucas Dunner fighting away with Cameron Daz here for second place. That allowed Yiffi to get a bit of a gap and we would never see him again. There were fantastic moves from everyone in this battle. That was Cameron Daz doing one of them round the outside at the second chicane. But he wouldn't be able to get rid of Lucas Dunner in the process. He would come back at him once again into the first chicane and sitting in behind Nicholas Cruton, who was quiet for a while but would then make his progress here. That was Manuel Maldonado going with a brilliant block pass on Cameron Daz. This was unfortunately the moment we saw the yellow flags out at Ascari. Ido Cohen tagging the back of Bardignon, who would be beached into the gravel and stay there to the end. But out front, it would be Yiffy Yi, who would win by just under two seconds ahead of his teammate Lucas Dunner and Nicholas Cruton, rounding out the top three. Monza winning from pole is the hardest track I think on earth, I would say. With the toll, the effect is so big that it's really hard for the leader to run away. Um, yeah, we made a very, very good start, I would say, so we keep the lead on the first lap. And then my teammates were really close behind, so I had to defend on the third lap, I think, to turn one. And then, fortunately, they were fighting against each other, so I had the break, so I could create, I think, a two-second gap. And then once Lucas would manage to overtake the, the rest of my teammates, he was coming very quickly behind, so I was under massive pressure. Uh, yeah, luckily we are able to hold on to the um, P1 position until the end. Thanks to me, not make any mistakes, and thanks to the team to give me a, for giving me a fantastic car. So very happy about that. Let's see what we can do tomorrow. look back at where it all started race number two Lucas Dunner leading us from the front row Esner alongside him it was Andreas Esner who made a brilliant start from row number two he would slot right in uh, behind Lucas Dunner as they made their way down towards turn number one and would immediately go through into second place a lock up from one of the drivers behind but no one tagging each other and a clean start overall then they made their way down towards the Parabolica. Three wide there, that was Zay Maloney going around the outside. The start of what would be a hard charge through the field. And that was the point, Alexandre Bardignon came out of absolutely nowhere. Thibaut Maldonado, clearly a mechanical fault with the car there. Safety car came out, then we got going once again, and Dunner would go into the race lead ahead of Esner. Cameron Daz going into third place. Esner and Dunner traded places on multiple occasions. Cameron Daz played watching just behind. This was another one of the incidents that saw Glenn Van Berlo tagged by Edson Simmons. Zay Maloney having to go across the chicane. Then we had Yiffy Yi fighting with, uh, Sabat, with Andreas Esner here as they made their way around the Parabolica. This was one of the multiple times Cameron Daz locked up on that occasion. We had Yiffy Yi having to go across uh, the, the run through. That was the moment that uh, Esner and Ye made contact, giving Esner a puncture. He would have to retire from the race. But out front, Lucas Dunner would win by nine seconds, his second win of the 2020 season. It was a really, really good day today for us. Yesterday was a bit bad because um, qualifying didn't run how we wanted. I was a bit lucky as well because today we started on pole because uh, if you got a penalty and yeah, the race started really nice. Uh, we had nice battles with uh, Esner, but uh, at one point I think we just managed to keep the car uh, on, a, on a good balance and uh, his car went a bit off or at least his tires and they started to fight. So for me, I had nothing special to do. I just tried to 
two consistent laps and uh, at the end it paid off. So really happy with now and now I need to focus for race three. Fighting and keeping things under control, it's always a difficult balance, especially here in uh, Monza with the towing. Yeah, it's, uh, I think this track is, uh, I think the only track um, in this calendar, which is like where you can really make positions in the race, as, as, especially on the long straights. It's always a bit of a give and take, you know, if you overtake one, you always have to think about, okay, what's going to happen in the next lap. So it's not just, you know, it's not enough if you're just fast here, you also need to have a bit of a plan behind. And uh, if you have both of these, then normally it should work here. A look back at how it all started then, leading from pole position there was Yiffy Yi, Nicholas Cruton getting a difficult start from the outside of the front row as they made their way down towards row number one. We had the likes of Sebastian Esner trying to get his way into third, Nicholas Cruton fighting with him out front, they were side by side, the two teammates Yiffy Yi and Lucas Dunner both getting through safely in the end, as did the rest of the field. This was Zane Maloney, him going round the outside, a brilliant move round the outside at the Ascari chicane, there you see it. That's a brilliant move, Go. isn't it, from uh, Maloney. He would eventually pick up a penalty for travel and it's going down the start. Finish straight. This was battles further back between the likes of Bardignon and Cameron Daz. Uh, Sebastian Esner, sorry, and Cameron Daz. That was uh, the moment that Yiffy Yi went straight over the chicane, locking up, going in towards turn number one. And there were similar moments for the likes of Rui Andrade, albeit at the second chicane. Side by side, we were battling away for the race lead. This was sadly the moment that uh, Rui Andrade would have to retire from the race just a few laps from the end. Say Maloney had his fair share of battles as well. Once again, Simmons going past, followed by Cameron Dowes a couple laps later. He would attempt to fight back, but the pair would then go over uh, the bollards on the inside of the second chicane. But out front, Lucas Dunner, his third win of the season. Yiffy Yi would finish in second place, Nicholas Cruton in third. And that moves Lucas Dunner up to second in the standings. Incredible day today. I didn't expect to, to win the second race and now you know, starting from pre three was actually uh, a bit uh, yeah, hard because in the, at the start we couldn't get through and uh, it was a, hard, a lot of fighting with uh, Yifi and to be honest it was really fair fighting and uh, I really enjoyed it with him. Uh, but after some laps he um, locked up his front and this was the thing that gave me the pole position and from there on I just pushed to the limit on every single uh, corner and uh, at the end, I don't know, it was not very much uh, the gap between us, so really happy with today now. But you had pace and strategy and it worked out. Uh, to be honest, my strategy was a bit different. I wanted already to be P1 after the start, but uh, yeah, this didn't work. So, you know, I just uh, focused to stay on his ass uh, throughout the whole race and uh, I waited for the right moment and uh, this was the moment with the lockup, so yeah, just did it and uh, then from there on it was just, you know, doing the consistency. Oh.